Thank you for joining us for the TradeX Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts to this week's insight. Another deceptive practice has been identified and added to the long list of fraudulent acts that processors use to increase their profit margins. Take a look at some of the photos we've obtained. The photos show examples of haddock that have been modified with what is believed to be a fish protein isolate. Fish protein isolate, legitimately used in surimi as a gel to hold proteins together, are being injected and have been discovered in other products as a way to increase yield. Protein isolates are reduced from fish products such as trim and therefore do not have phosphates in them. This makes them harder to detect than STPP. As a matter of fact, they can only be detected after cooking the fish. Processors also may further disguise isolates and try to confuse purchasers by referring to them as marinades. In the news this week, strong global supply projections for farmed Atlantic salmon are turning the U.S. market into a battlefield between global suppliers. Chilean supplies are projected to recover in 2011 and 2012. For example, Marine Harvest, the world's largest salmon producer, has increased their 2011 production forecast by 26%. Meanwhile, Norway's projections do not indicate substantial production growth over the next few years. As a result, Chile is quickly regaining market share. Not only is Norway losing ground, but Canada's piece of the pie declined from 12% in September to just 7% in December. U.S. raised Atlantic salmon are a small player in relation to Norway, Chile, and Canada. However, the increased supply will put pressure on them as well, especially as they compete with cheaper labor costs in Chile. Prices for Chilean frozen fillets, sea trim weighing 2 to 3 pounds, have been steady at about 475 since December. Chilean salmon is normally about 15% cheaper than fish raised domestically and about 20% cheaper than Norwegian product. Moving forward, prices are expected to fall at the start of the harvest season in April. Meanwhile, in Europe, increased supply and currency fluctuations are pushing down prices for farmed Atlantic salmon. Norwegian spot prices per kilogram are about $6.80 or 520 euros freight on board, a 5% drop from last week. Larger sized salmon, those over 6 kilograms, are selling for about 9% more than fish weighing 2 to 3 kilos. Moving forward, prices may stabilize or increase. Today's marks, today, today marks the start of the Norway's winter holiday and several slaughterhouses are expected to close down. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.